will Jesse ever consider PD usage? I'm gonna be honest. All right, I like this question. What message of encouragement does he have for all the single mothers out there now that he's getting married? I am getting engaged. I'm off the market. I've been off the market for a while, but officially uh, gonna be locked in soon. Which is good. I'm excited. I'm very, I'm grateful and happy. Um, but for the single mothers out there, I am sorry. I, I can no longer, um, I can no longer interact uh, in that, in that, in that regard. And plus, he's and just sorry. getting old anyway. I, I honestly, I, I, hey, <laughs> it was you were like 19. I was 19. Time. This was like. I'll be like, honest. I don't really talk about single moms in my videos anymore. No, it's not like a it's, thing it's now. just not a thing anymore. Back then, it was whole. But it was very funny when the time. Like I, that's why I'm like I never want to burn the joke to be shit. Like yeah. if it's funny, let it be funny in its time and move yeah. on and find the next one. Yeah. So it's like, it was that was a an great era. chapter. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a chapter. We're on to the next chapter. And yeah. to all the single mothers out there, I, I'll always love you. There'll be another Jesse, just not as handsome. Yeah. There'll, maybe, be, there'll maybe. be others. All right. Somebody wants to know, is he going to fight someone on Misfits Boxing? So Misfits Boxing is like influencer boxing that they do. And it's funny because I hit up... Um, I was trying to collaborate with KSI, so I hit up his manager, and his manager was like, oh, I thought you were trying to box on the Misfits, like, do you want to do that? And I was like, uh, I don't know, but I was doing boxing for a while, and, like a month. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not like serious. No, 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 no. Okay. And I, I was getting decent, like, I, I understood the movements, and it felt fun, and it was awesome, but it's like one of those things, again, like the triathlon, where you have to sacrifice bodybuilding, and I was not in the moment to do that, I was trying to bulk, and I'm like, I'm trying to build muscle, I'm not yeah. trying to get, become a pro boxer. And I kept calling out Alex Eubank, and it was very funny. And then he starts like throwing punches on a bag, like on Instagram oh, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So we're going back and forth. It was kind of just like a friendly, like like hey, fuck you, you know type thing. So yeah. it was funny. But would I ever do one? I think if the opportunity's right, and I know everyone's always like, oh, if I get paid. In my opinion, I think if it's the the proper exposure and experience, and like it's not really about. I'm not trying to like, oh, I want to make a million bucks from some check from this. I think if there's if I can make a bunch of videos about it, if I can, you know, do business around it and use it as like a business leverage and stuff and, and have fun and enjoy it and, and, and enjoy the competition and have a good like competitive thing with somebody, I think I'd be interested. But it has to be like the right opponent at the right time and I have to be genuinely interested in boxing. Yeah, I think at this point for us both, it's not really about the money, it's about fun because yeah. we already have our own Interest. way to make money yeah. already. So this would just be something, if it's a good challenge and yeah. fun and you're like into it, yeah. then of course. Like doing the, doing a bodybuilding competition it wasn't I don't, I don't, I don't make a million dollars from competing. You know, yeah, you like, make zero dollars yeah, from I, competing. Even yeah, as a pro, I, I, I actually spent more because I had to like fly my whole team yeah. and do all these crazy things and line up all this stuff. So it's like, that was just more, I was in the mood to be challenged and do this challenge and yeah. also motivate my fans. So that's what I did. So if that's the same scenario in boxing that happens one day, like I'll totally do it. There should be a natty version of the Olympia called the Sir true. Olympia. Jesse James could legit bring the hype to it. What do you think about natural Olympia? Because I've been making multiple videos saying that there should be a natural uh, tested nope. section of it. I think there should. Really? I would I would enter 100%. I yes. would enter. I would do a whole video. I would have a whole series. The thing is, is like, I don't know why they don't do it. They have the amateur. It should be on the same sort of like stage, like with the amateur or something. And it's a natural and maybe you need to qualify to get mm. in. Like there's a, a, you know, there's a, a, a prequel to getting into this thing. And I would totally pursue it. I think it'd be an awesome hype around the entire Olympia. I think it, because of people like myself um, and other natural athletes, you know, if you got Will or Alex Eubank to do it, there's so much hype that it would bring. There'd be millions of people's eyes on the Olympia that weren't going to watch. I think people forget there are more people that lift weights that are natural than, than yeah. not natural. There are a lot that take steroids, of course, but there's more natties. So if they have a federation or, or a category that's natural. Even at the Arnold, they should do it. Absolutely. Like we saw like uh, 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 Wesley Vizzers win yeah. the untested class. Imagine they had the tested class on the, on the stage. Because there, there are some crazy tested athletes out there. Like I don't even, I, I probably would be like third call outs in reality. It's insane. There are some dudes that are like 30 years old mm -hmm. and have 15 pounds of muscle on me and have insane genetics. There's one dude, I, he's an IFBB pro and, is, and, and he says he's natural. That's I mean, a scary part. We don't know for sure. We don't sure. know for sure, yeah. but if he is, would come out if he is, you know. he would wipe the floor. Yeah. 
and win the entire thing. But so I wouldn't win, that's for sure. But like, I would love to try. And I think it would be motivating for the average person. They could just kind of imagine see a normal like, guy. Imagine and be like, hey, I could maybe look like that. And and then, and then the goal of becoming, I, oh, I want to become Mr. Natty Olympia. Yes. Like, and that's a title that's, you can have. That's my thought. That's and then, my and then so many more people would have the aspiration to try to get into it. Mm -hmm. Because you have like the everyone wants to be C bomb yeah. until they realize they have to take drugs. Yeah, and we could get like, Jeff oh. Neppard out of retirement. He might want to do it. He's a pro natural bodybuilder. He literally won like Canadian national like drug oh, wow. tested. Wow. Yeah, he was Shit. good as a young guy. Damn. So you get some guys out there and they can yeah. eat, and I think it would be huge. I know the yeah. I think it would be. I would love to. I would love to see that. So maybe someday they'll make it happen. Greg is way shorter than Jesse in real life. Well, in fake life, in the internet world, I'm actually taller. <laughs> Yeah, in, yeah. In real life. In real life. I don't think we've In real life, he makes me that. six foot. Yeah, like I'm six you? five in real life. I mean, oh. um, the money got me six five. I'm five six. <laughs> he stands on the money. You know, <laughs> that's that funny. song, the money got me five. The got him, I'm five six, but the money got me six five. Is that really it's a song? A, it's oh, a okay. legit song. That's funny. That's perfect for me. Oh my so god! Remember when I made that hair? Yes, and I was the yes. five six and singing. Oh my Ruba. gosh! Yes. I tell him, don't blick ride, don't blick ride. Leave it to the double thick. Yeah, I'm not tall. I'm five six. You're five nine and a half. Is that yeah, what five nine three quarters? Five nine three quarters. Same. Which means it rounds to six feet. I'm six foot tall. You know, on paper, you can't get a girlfriend. You're not six foot. <laughs> Luckily, my girlfriend six fell foot, for me six, saying six, uh, six I was six inches foot. and six figures. He's missing at least one of these. It's not six feet. <laughs> Six foot, six up. inches, six figures. Yeah. It's That's legit. Fun. I've seen these things. Oh my God. I have no chance at hell. I'm going to be single forever. Five, six. Imagine how can I get a girl, right? Hey, good luck out there, man. I know. Good luck out there. It's sad. It's a sad world when height's the most important thing. And final question. Will Jesse ever consider PD usage? I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'll ever touch them. The only thing I'd ever touch is TRT if my testosterone just goes down. And, and, and also exhausting all natural ways doesn't work. Like if I'm if I'm sleeping properly, eating properly, um, you know, taking the right vitamins and all that stuff, and everything is still not working, my body is just no longer producing the proper amount of testosterone. Then I will go on TRT at a dose that's pretty normal. I don't want to be on anything extra. Um, I know that steroids, in my opinion, the number one reason I won't is because steroids can like I'm gonna make the claim. Tell me if I'm wrong. Steroids yeah. age you. Like, cause I see like Larry wheels come off and he looks like he went back 10 years. At what dose though? Like I'm 48. Yeah. Most people say I look younger Yeah. and I abuse them for 10 years, but I, I think it's genetic too. Else. Cause like sebum doesn't look old. I know? think he does. You Not he looks... old, old, but older than his age, but I okay. think that's mostly a hairline. Okay. Minus hairline. I feel like he still looks, he looks like yeah. fairly fresh yeah, minus in the, face. the hairline. He looks but, it, but I've seen yeah. people that it looks like it accelerates their aging process and in, in my opinion I'm a very like anti-aging guy once I met Brian Johnson I was hooked um, but I'm, I'm the type of person like I don't want wrinkles I, don't, I want my clear skin I want my, my skin to be nice and healthy forever mm -hmm. I don't want problems I don't want heart problems I don't want to take years off my life if anything I want to live longer than I'm, I'm supposed to right now like I'm very longevity based so here's the weird thing a lot of the times it's not the PDs, it's what they're also taking on top of that. And mm. people see the steroids, they don't know about the party until seven in the morning every weekend mm. and all the other things are taken. Yeah. So you see that and you don't realize that there are a lot of these guys are doing a lot of other drugs that are not talking about. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of excused on as being the testosterone. I can say that HRT for many people makes them look younger. I'm certain that I think I that's off why of it, I wow. would right now. Well, I can see that at a certain age, I feel like that's that, that's beneficial. Mm. If I were to go on HRT right now, not that it's really, it's not really a replacement therapy. At the low enough dose that it would be would actually I be a replacement, I don't think it would make you look any different other than having a little bit more muscle. It wouldn't look, make you look older or younger. I think once I have kids, like one or two, and I'm like 30 something, maybe a little TRT. And so here's the thing, when I was your age, I was more against steroids than you, mm. uh, without question, because I remember that time. I was like, yeah. I will never do this ever. It's I also so don't want to. I don't want to touch it. And then, yeah, I don't. I don't want to touch it, and then, and then be like, okay, I did a little. Why not just toss a little like this in? Yep, you that know? was my next point. I am. I'm like that where, I get like hooked on things and obsessed with things. So if I'm like enjoying the gains a little too much mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna be like let's add in a little of this if it's safe you know and then all right now i push the boundaries okay now now i'm next thing you know i'm huge and what the hell's going on i don't really have a desire to be absolutely monstrous i like to be aesthetic and like peak natural body mm -hmm. that's my that's my goal 
I can tell you, once you start taking HRT, you're going to want to up that dose a little bit. It's just like a little bit. I bet. Because for me, very tempting to up the dose a little bit. Because I'm on 140 milligrams a week. I The prescription says 160. Mm. Like I could take 160 very easily. And then why not just take 200? Mm. Still HRT. And yeah. why not add in a little bit of sublingual anivar to get that... SHBG alter and get some free testability and then then where does it stop so I don't do it because yeah. I know it would just keep escalating yeah and that's why like I just can't add other stuff because you do miss it like yeah, once you've taken other stuff and you've seen that yep. pump and uh, yeah it's it's not easy for me to stop taking what I took because I did it for 10 years and yeah. I would like to be bigger still in my head I'd like to look like I mean I'm at this Arnold show I don't look like those guys yeah it's so, tempting if you do take it, trust me, it's very hard to go off, so you really gotta think twice. Be careful. Yeah, one cycle in and it's like, how do you stop? It's tough. That's why I picked the natty cycle. Exactly. All right, so thanks to Jesse. Uh, make Appreciate sure you it. follow his channel. He's got, what do you got now on YouTube? 3.7 3. 3. 3. mil. Three, it's almost four million. Wild. It's gonna be crazy. I know. My goal is five mil, help me get there. Yeah, five million is wild. I'm pretty much stuck in the low twos now. It's which still is, great. Which is 20 times more than I thought I'd ever get yeah. in my life. The funny thing is people are going to hate. You're only at 2 million followers. You only That's get huge. 10 million views in a month. I was like, guys, it's so much more than I ever dreamed possible. Yeah. Like, people are so negative. Yeah. We're grateful, though. We're grateful. Very grateful. Very lucky as well. Thank you, everybody, for being subscribers. I'm sure you feel the same way. Appreciate you guys. All right. And until next time, we are out. I tried to do it, I messed up. <laughs>